Hello everybody, welcome to Boating with Lucas, and today we're going to be viewing the 1971 Bertram 31. She's a gorgeous boat, guys. She was completely redone in the year 2000s, repowered with twin 5.9 liter Cummins engines. They have just under a thousand hours on them now. All maintenance is up to date. The thousand hour service was actually completed early. Boat also had bottom paint done recently. Very nice shape. All the running gear is in very nice condition as well. Shafts, shaft struts, props, rudders, trim tabs, and all are in very good um, aesthetic condition. Boat does have newer canvas, a bimini top for the flybridge, and camper top for the aft deck. <clears throat> Pardon me. This year also new turbos were installed, new injectors and bolt engines, and the port side transmission was rebuilt. I will also link the full listing and specs down below in the description. Again, getting a good look at the bottom. Bottom's in really nice condition. Hop over to the port side. Please excuse the ducking and bending over because we are in a uh, heated storage building. It is January here in Ohio. And with that, let's hop in the aft deck and take a look around. boat just needs to be wiped down coming up in the spring. It is in storage right now and there were men working on it not long ago. It does need to wipe down, but all in all, a very, very nice, clean, um, classic boat. Do have a new anchor and a fender on the aft deck here, as well as an aft bench seat with upholstery in very, very nice condition. Refinished teak all throughout the vessel. Nice wide gunnels. The non-skid was already done with that, with that 2000 refit. Paint and gels in very nice shape. Nice grab rails and handrails, GPS antennas, VHF antennas. Making our way up to the bow. Do have a Danforth anchor, twin bow cleats. and bow rail stanchions for the front part of the boat. And there we do have a deck hatch for the, um, for the V-berth. Again, there's that full mini top for the flybridge. You have a nav light and spotlight for nighttime and fog docking. Dual stainless steel horns on the starboard side of the flybridge superstructure. One thing to point out in this boat, there are virtually no stress cracks around any of the stanchions or any deck fittings. Everything's in very nice condition for the age water tank inlet, mid cleat. And the owner does have vinyl pads for each engine hatch for um, sitting or lounging or sunbathing. Um, they are also in very, very nice condition. As we pan aft, again, there's another shot of that aft bench seat. Can fit probably four people comfortably there. Do 
do have an Isinglass drop curtain to keep it nice and cool in the salon area. This boat does have air conditioning, marine air conditioning unit. into the salon you'll notice all the teak is beautifully redone cabinets floor trim all really really exquisitely done coming over to the starboard side of the galley we do have a stainless steel sink refrigerator freezer plenty of storage um, twin 110 volt outlets and our stereo controls Eisen glass is in very nice shape. It's the thicker gauge strata glass. Just needs clean. There's some water spots there, but um, other than that, it's in beautiful condition. Off to the port side, we do have a face-to-face -face dinette, again with a beautifully refinished table and reupholstered cushions. Very, very nice condition. Another thing to point out too in this boat, guys, is the headliner is in pretty much outstanding condition for the age. Really not too many imperfections I can point out at all. No water stains, no nothing like that. Very nice condition. Here we have either a bench seat for the lower helm or, I'll show you, it's kind of cool. It kind of also doubles as more counter space when you're at the dock here at the galley. And this is our lower helm. All our instrumentation and gauges right here. Off to, off to starboard here, we do have our gear shifters and throttles, VHF radio, bilge pump controls, and systems monitor underneath the steering wheel here, or at the steering wheel. Turn on my light here. Let's see. Like I said, we are in a storage building. Coming down into the V-berth, have a, about a double or queen size V-berth. Again, refinished floor and teak wood. You have an, the anchor locker forward, storage off to port and starboard sides. Again, headliners in outstanding condition, as well as new um, salon lights. We also do have a vacuum flush head in this boat. We do have two opening windshield windows for ventilation on a nice day if you want to run the boat from down below, or you can run it from the flybridge, which I will show you as soon as we pan back around. Coming back up to the aft deck area. Set my light down. Remove this piece of vinyl so we can step on it. Like I said guys, this deck just needs to scrub down in the spring, nothing major. Coming up the ladder here. Stainless steel rod holders and canvas framing, all in beautiful condition. Like I said, virtually no stress cracks that I can find to my eye anywhere. Um, vinyl and the flybridge is also in very nice shape as long as the newer canvas. As well as the newer canvas, excuse me. Coming up to the bridge area, it's our secondary helm station, stainless steering wheel, autopilot, compass, gallons per hour, gauges, spotlight controls. We have our ignition underneath the throttle on the port side and our port starboard side ignition under the gear shifters on the starboard side. Great visibility out into the bow. And the GPS unit is mounted right to the right of the gear shifters, but it is currently away for storage at the moment. Again, guys, for full listings and full specs, please visit www.greatlakesboatsandbrokerage.com 
or www.parmamarine.com. You can also find this vessel on Yacht World, Boat Trader, Boats.com, and soon to be YouTube. Please feel free to follow my YouTube channel, Boating with Lucas, as well as my Facebook page, Boating with Lucas. There you will be updated on all my new listings coming in. I'd love to show you this beautiful classic 1971 Bertram 31 Sportfish. Please give me a call at 440-915-8995. Again, that's 440-915-8995. I look forward to working with you and we will see you on the water.